Here's the brief for this operation. Let's begin. We've got to stop them here. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain.
can't take much more. that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut box. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. Sorry, we're late. Welcome. You have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tank sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right. Let's go take it down.
go! some time at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! She, she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Good! That's fantastic! Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday. We'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare.
In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike, or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way! That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic! Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug, a rhinoceros beetle, king of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now.
Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther. Reporting for duty. Ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melchiot. Also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melchiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Fall to you? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgreaves. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the Scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good Scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the Shock Trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. 
Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. I'm Hermes Kissinger. With me here, your squad will get twice the girls. See you later, boss. And sorry if all the ladies leave now that I'm gone. Hey, Welchter. I'm Melville Young. I'll do my best, man. I'll never forget you guys, Welk man. Just say the word if there's anything I can do. Y you know, I could be persuaded to help again. If you ever needed me, I mean. Thank you, hello. I'm Ted Usinoff, and I've got some great new material for you. Thank you, thank you. You're a wonderful audience. I'm here all week. I'm Nochi Wordsworth. Hi. Yeah, later. Oh, and if you hurt Alicia, I'll kill you. My name's Ramona Litton. Good to be on board, Welkin. Okay, and nice work out there so far. You can call me anytime. My name is Susie Evans, sir. I realize I'm inexperienced, but I'll do all I can. I'm Frisia York, handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. You know Corin, reporting for duty. Looks like I'll be joining you in Squad 7. Hey there. I'm Ika Thompson. I'll try my best. Sound good, Wilkin? Hi, I'm Alex Raymond. I look forward to serving with you, Wilkin. H Hello, I'm Kevin. Kevin Abbott? Pleased to meet you. Name's Kobe Caird, boyo. Looks to me like we're gonna see a lot of each other. Page Salinger, reporting for duty, sir. 
Hello, I'm Mika Hawkins. I'll be serving under you from here on. The name's Vice Engelbard. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. I'm Wendy Cheslock. <laughs> Kaboom. The name's Nina Strice, and I look forward to a good workout out there. Hey, soldier! I'm Jan Walker. I'll fight with everything I've got. Hey, the old boar here. Remember the name, boss man. The name's Walter Nash, buddy. Pleasure to be working with you. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. Hi there. I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. You've been a wonderful leader, sir, but I am a bit relieved to be done with combat. Thanks for everything, Welkin. You call me anytime you need me, you hear? I'm glad for the time we got to spend together. Just let me know if something comes up. What? It's over already? Well, that's fine. If you need me, though, call me, okay? Thanks for everything, Welkin. Just give me a call if you need me. Thanks for... everything. I'll be going now. You got my mark, kid. You ever need a relic like me again, just give me a call. Thanks for everything, Mr. Cutler, sir. Call me if I can help. I enjoyed my time with you. If I can be of help in the future... You're a good man, Welkin. Anytime you need me, call and I'll come running. What? It's over? Oh, that's sad. Thanks for the good times, boss. I'll stay in shape in case you need me again. Oh, I'm gonna miss you to death. You give me a call any old time, honey. Hey, what'd I do? Ah, oh, come on, man. Give me another chance here. I knew it. I'm useless, aren't I? I won't hold my breath for a callback. Thanks for everything you've done, sir. If I can be of help again, let me know. Thanks for all you've done, kiddo. If you need me, I'm always here for you. Elise Moore. Nice to meet you. Um, Herbert Nielsen is me. I mean, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll try. I'm Homer Perron, here to fight together with you until this war claims my life. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Hello, sir. My name is Nadine. I'm sure I'll be coming to you for help. Hello, I'm Claudia Mann. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Marina Wolfstead, at your command. I'm Catherine O'Hara. I look forward to joining you all. I feel good about the time we had, sir. If called again, I'd gladly fight for the team. I understand. If you ever need me, call. All right. Thank you for having me. I'd be happy to join you again anytime. I'd like to thank you for the time we spent. If you ever need it, 
I'd be happy to help. Good luck with everything, sir. Good day. Oh, a premature parting. Yet another place I don't belong. Wow, so I guess it's over then? I, I mean, that's fine too. Thanks for everything, and let me know if I can help out, okay? Like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Wow, squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Valdio's heading up squad one, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now too. I'd better get a move on. Welcome to your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learn. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. But don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. You will train as a class, and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three, you get it? When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team, go home now! All right, now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. It ain't complicated. First you go out there and fight, then divvy up that experience here. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Train all you want. I've got all day. for tears sweat 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 good work maggots you're one
one level closer to human. Looks like that's going to be a new potential out of the Lancers. Looks like that set should be the new potential out of the snipers. I got no use for tears. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Looks like that should be the new potential out of the shock troopers. Got it? That's how training by class works. Now get out there and rack up some experience. Oh, and there's one more thing to add. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field, so keep them in mind. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic, a real golden oldie. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. All that just from me working you sorry bums into the dirt. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? Huh? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? I knew it! Man, I've heard about you! That evacuation at Brule was just... Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man! Man! Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Kreese Cherney. I'm training here as a mechanic. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand.
set for you, bro. It's done. Here you go, bro. All done. Well, sir, was that helpful? We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> 